In St. Petersburg, some of the metro stations are even deeper than ours. I went there once when I was young. There were these huge iron gates that was open when the train arrived, along with the train's doors. I later learned that during the construction of the same train, half the men on his team were eaten by All they found were tools and bare bones. This was covered up, of course, Come on. but they didn't Think store those up. iron gates just to be safe. I can't imagine what the radiation hey, did there. cut that shit out! Uh, hmm. Once I picked up a transmission from a surviving tank. Yeah, they were off base and maneuvers when it occurred. Those tanks were shielded against radiation, so these guys headed east from Moscow. They barreled through the village villages, picked some women up along the way, and just kept going, refueling as they could. Finally, in the middle of nowhere, they ran out of gas. Well, since there were no strategic targets that far out, the radiation wasn't nearly as high as in the city. So, well, they, they dug their tank in like a pillbox and then put up some tents. They had a solar generator, plenty of ammo, and yeah, they settled around the tank for good. I, I spoke with them by radio every night for almost two years. At first, they did okay. I planted crops, two of them had almost normal kids. Well, they, they saw lots of weird critters out there that the lieutenant didn't know how to describe. Then one night, they went off the air. Never heard from them again. No, I guess the generator gave up the ghost. Well, maybe they just ran out of ammo. Yeah. <laughs> Hope was to contact the government bunkers over the Urals, but those bunkers were the first to be hit. <laughs> At first, they didn't directly target civilians, and nobody thought this would be the war that would end it all. As I was monitoring the radio, I picked up a lot of weird stuff in the beginning, too. Siberia was silent. But the others did transmit, including the strategic nuclear subs. The subs kept waiting for orders. Should we hit them? No one could believe Moscow was not there anymore. Naval captains wept like kids on the air. The crewmen were begging me to check if their families were among the survivors. But I couldn't do anything. Some of the sub crews decided to get their revenge and went to their launch positions. Others reasoned that since the world was doomed, more killing was pointless. The subs continued to come back on air for a long time. They could stay submerged for half a year at least. Some of them were destroyed, but not all. I still shiver when I remember those days. Rats, nice fresh roasted before your eyes. Highest quality. Besides, we still invented that thing. It was a nightmare. Imagine that your invention was the first. If you're here for the dope, I got plenty. Any kind of boost. Same story.